And, and I tell you right now that none of my ideas are original. Uh, everything that I have comes from other, other sources. Mm -hmm. um, and it occurs to me that the only way we're going to get anywhere with, is with a sense of community, is with people joining together, combining the knowledge and formulating our paperwork and our structures together. And part of that is by forming a society uh, using quantum documents with a quantum constitution um, to where then we can, we can stand as a separate entity to the fiction that is there and that we can then uh, approach the governments, that sort of thing, and if need be, we can go offshore if, if they decide that they're not going to listen. But we do need uh, knowledge and we need people with their documentation. In other words, correct. The, the, the argument you're making here is how do we get this program forward? The people, a group of people cannot file a class action against your government to make a change. You can, however, go to the election board with an idea of what change is. Then go door to door and educate the general public and get signatures on a referendum to be placed on the ballot, which is you have your spring elections and your fall elections. And twice a year, most communities have elections to pass specific laws and elect new people to govern, you know, like uh, uh, aldermen, uh, congressmen, senators, judges. And there's specific ideas whether to make le a smoking legal or not, to make marijuana legal or not, to control different controlled substances, uh, to pass a law saying how high building can be in a given community, if we're going to expand the airport, if we're going to uh, put an expressway through and go ahead and buy up all these houses. There's going to be all kinds of different rules and regulations. Well, it's no different if you want to bring in a new law or bring, change a constitution to a government. You have to go door to door. It's required by that you have a specific number of signatures or autographs on a referendum supplied to the election board to have that placed on the ballot. On the ballot then, when all the people go to the polls, you can at, take out and pay for advertising on TV, just like when the president runs or anybody runs for public office, they have a advertising budget and they educate the people. So when you go to the polls, you know what you're talking about. And it's the same thing with getting this program through. If the people are willing to donate money or you have fund drives to raise money so that you can advertise Syntex on open television or TV or on, on the radio or the internet to create awareness of the syntax in the, in the condition of language and then have it voted in. And once it's voted in, then the government will have to change because it's the will of the people where 51% are going to make changes. You just spontaneously can't change things. So you've got in Hawaii, you've got a society of people. And I think when I was speaking to you some time ago, it was around 4,000, and I believe it's up to 6,000 people now. About 6,000 people now, yeah. And so, that's only taken one year to get there. So with what they're doing, they're, they effectively have their own society. They've established themselves as being um, lawful and setting standards that are higher than standards that the government have as far as uh, registration of motor vehicles uh, with safety. And In other words, public safety is number one, and then everything else can be built below that, yes. So now, because they were sovereign to Hawaii, they've got the superior claim to the land through the DNA links to the land. That's the reason why they can do that. It's um, the same reason here why you guys can do it, and the same reason the Maoris can do it in, not in New Zealand. Now, in that situation, is that the only the original people that can do it, or is it anybody that was born here? You were born here. Everybody who was born here is now party to that organized position. Now, through that structure of that society, and through a, um, an agreement on values and how you're going to conduct yourself, that would be one way to create a presence in the community and then to, and to spread um, and to have an organised structure where people can see that it's not something similar to anarchy. Because right, you don't want anarchy. You have a organised contract, organised structure of fairness to everyone. So what we would be doing is more than just complaining about what is wrong, we would be acknowledging what is wrong, but bringing the solution to what is wrong so that people can see what the alternative is. Correct. Is Did I complain about anything today at the seminar? I gave you solutions. Solutions through syntax. 
We know it's wrong. We've lived in this wrong world our whole life. The only thing this program does is shows you an alternative way of thinking to improve yourself. That's it. We didn't say the government was bad. You guys still get your three hots in a cot. You like driving on your roads. Your cars run really nice. You got safety equipment everywhere. Uh, nobody's sick. There's no anarchy in the, in the streets. You're not, you don't have to worry about diseases. You got hospitals and pharmacies to give you medicine. I mean, all the different things that give you all the luxuries of life, TVs, computers, electricity, running water, sewer, take a hot shower, so carpeting. I mean, it's really nice. You're not living on dirt floors in a hut someplace. So if we're to develop our own society and we work in quantum, it then gives us the opportunity to provide access to some of the technologies that have been suppressed by challenging the documents that are in place to keep those technologies suppressed. If there's a negative technology, yes. If you want to improve, again, get your, get your people together and get laws passed yeah. by election. Even the world court said, what you're doing, Dave, is right, but until you get people to vote on it, what we did in Hawaii. The Hawaiians were only recognized because the Hawaiians got together and they voted for the Constitution. They voted to have a charter that they could say we are under Robert's Rules of Order as a corporation. We make decisions as a corporate entity of 20 people. And then when we make a, finally make a decision, we take it back to the people to vote on. They're doing everything they're supposed to, but they use a quantum language instead of adverb, verb. Just like the wrap up. And so, all at my seminars. Just while, while David's riding away. You've got the opportunity to continue your learning. Um, we have webcasts where we teach, teach syntax. Oops. And we always have access to David as well. Uh, the best thing that I can recommend for you to get um, familiar with the, with the quantum and with the syntax is if you get the DVDs that are available with David and just watch them. Don't try to sort of study and remember like you did at school. Just listen. Because as you do, you gradually pick up more and more pieces. It just becomes part of what you're, what you're aware of. And time is the best thing that you can utilize. Oh, you got bad right. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I thought mine was bad. Well, the point is I can write frontwards and backwards with both hands, both ways, or both directions simultaneously. So I'd like to thank David very much for making himself available to us. And, and, and I, I thank you all, and I expect you all to email, email me your questions and your uh, any other problems you have, if there's challenges along the way. Uh, and remember, anybody gets in your face about anything, call me, I got a solution for it. <laughs> <laughs>